It should be built. How you doing, everybody? Simple Son here. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of people that don't like Joe Biden. Uh, that was a few days ago at the uh, UAW, you know, little press conference thing he has. Technically, he had two, count them, two different press conferences where he was booed at by the United Auto Workers uh, Union. Uh, the, the, the funny part is somehow he still got the endorsement. It's probably just from the higher ups, but, um, he, he looked a little worried in that video, right? So when something like that happens and you need to cover your own ass, basically, and you don't have enough Americans to vote for you, what do you think they do? I, I'll show you what you do. I'll show you what they're going to do. This is exactly what they do. We're going to look at it together. All military age male in this group. And that's what they do. They separate the group. So this is going to be a group of nothing but military age male that they're loading into this bus. Not a single female, not a single child. They do have another bus. And, and as you'll see, as soon as this line ends, they're moving this group together. These are all fem females and children, women and children. Look at that new truck load. Look at the truck. Look at the truck. Nothing but men. A whole bunch more men. Maybe one female right there I see. Mostly men. Another batch. Young men. Military age men jumping out of the back of a border patrol truck. This is happening right now, right outside of Eagle Pass. Another truck, I, I didn't even see this other truck full. Two truck fulls. This is crazy nonsense. None of these people are going to be deterred. That's why it's the CBP out here. This is Biden's regime doing what Biden does. These people are all going to be sent down to the Firefly soft-sided processing facility. They will be bussed into the interior. They are not repelling these people. They are not deterring. If they fall into the hands of the CBP, they are staying in the United States, my friends. Uh, that was courtesy from uh, at April Sparks 1890 on um, X, a.k.a. Twitter. Um, and that just shows, you know, one, there, there's so many videos of that. The, just people showing up from other countries. We don't know who they are. Hell, the, the people transporting them don't know who they are and they get transported how many times have you ever got free transportation in the united states they did they're literal criminals that are getting free transportation and free movement there's ngos non-government organizations basically expelling resources probably from our own tax dollars because these these ngos are tax-free so they don't they don't pay taxes like we do so all the money they make and receive and donations go to illegals basically criminals who are you know subjecting our system to just an overflow and as much as you know i'm a christian as much as the next person but you can't always use hey you jesus was an immigrant so you have to just allow your borders basically just be ignored right so you're using an extreme example to justify you know the everyday individual they're not jesus if they were i'd make an exception for jesus i would say absolutely let's allow jesus into the country but guess what he's not jesus and you know another thing is a lot of people are probably going to go well this is just anecdotal this is one person's um video so you know we should just ignore that 
and not pay no mind to it. But it's just not, you know, April Sparks, AC90. It's just not her. It's even in the mainstream, folks. The mainstream news is now basically thinking about what's going on and questioning Joe Biden's regime. So let's see what the mainstream says. Texas continued adding razor wire along the southern border despite a U.S. Supreme Court order earlier this week. And on Monday, the high court threw out a lower court decision. It means federal agents can resume cutting razor wire, but Governor Abbott says the state will keep adding more wire, saying the state's constitutional right to defend itself outweighs federal law. Fox Force Blake Hansen joins us now with the very latest in the dispute between Texas and the federal government. Blake. Yeah, Heather and Steve, uh, razor wires is one of multiple issues where the federal government and the state are at odds and in the courts over border security. New video Wednesday shows the Texas Military Department beefing up razor wire installations in Eagle Pass along the border southwest of San Antonio. The security efforts continuing despite a setback at the U.S. Supreme Court Monday. The court, in a 5-4 to four ruling, vacated a lower court decision that blocked federal agents from cutting razor wire. The feds argued its agents need access to patrol the border and help migrants in need. But the state says it's essential to security and will discourage risky crossings away from legal entry points. Texas is doing every measure, putting every measure in place to prevent that, to try to discourage that. But yet at the federal level, the federal government has not done anything as far as trying to discourage illegal immigration, especially those that want to cross a dangerous river. See, and, you know, the crazy part is, it's like you clearly are trying to do the right thing here in Texas. Greg Abbott and, and the National Guard, they're, they're clearly trying to follow their own laws, state laws, that you know, trespassing, basically. We'll just call it simply trespassing. So the federal government is basically, we'll just, it's not, I mean, someone, you have illegals coming in from another country, we'll just say it's trespassing, just for the sake of argument. The federal government is coming in and telling individuals in Texas to ignore the law of trespassing because they qualify these individuals. It supersedes the law, basically. These, these individuals who are technically criminals are superseding the law itself without saying as much right like they're being blatant they're being really really blatant about it too i mean even uh uh joe biden's you know little he's an admiral for christ's sakes and admiral john kirby is is basically as blatant as it comes listen to what he's got to say on it about the razor wire in texas does razor wire work? Does razor wire work for what? Does it work for the Border Patrol to allow them to have the access they need to be able to uh, to better process people that are uh, trying to get across the border? I don't think so, and that's why we asked for it to be removed. See, and and that's the craziest part in the world, ain't it? Like, you know, it's like, of course, why wouldn't you move the uh, razor wire? Why wouldn't you just, uh, just you know, basically put your guard down? Why wouldn't you, you know, just allow this invasion to happen? And that's what it is. That's that's called spade a spade. It's an invasion, right? Uh, any again, I've said this in another video. At any other point in time in our history, or any history of any country anywhere on planet Earth, of any culture, of any race, even the same race, you would consider this as an invasion. There's literally military-aged individuals basically crossing our borders without repercussions they're actually being waved in welcomed come on in come on in right so at some point you got to start asking yourself is this a like a long-term passive military operation is there some kind of like underlying you know reasoning i mean i'd like to know i mean if there's a reasoning behind this i, I think our government needs to let us know what the reason is and kind of explain it to us I don't understand it. Do you understand it? I mean, hell, the, the guy in charge right now, you can barely understand what he's saying. If you don't believe me, here he is. Listen to this. We'll teach Donald Trump a, a valuable lesson. Don't mess with the women in America unless you want to get the benefit. I don't even know what the hell he said. 
What did he just say? Some of our women said, he talks worse than I do. I'm not even the president. For Christ's sakes, I mean, that's, we we got to stop asking questions. I don't know what needs to be done. I, I, I don't know the answer. Should we use force at the border? Should we use actual physical force to stop individuals from crossing a border? Yeah, I think so. I, I think this might be the one time in history uh, we need to... I, I think it's time to use our own military to, to protect ourselves. Because it feels like some slowly creeping passive uh, military... Op it almost feels like a military operation against us. You know. So, should we use force? I, I believe so. Um, it... it, it if not, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. And um, I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this little snippet of video. They just show you a small piece of what, you know, our future is going to look like, but worse. I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed, hit the like, subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell. I'm going to keep putting more videos out. Keep talking about this and more other things. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs>